Dylan writes, hey guys, my question is as follows. Who do you think should be nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor or Actress so far this year? Thanks and keep up the great work. It's actually a very interesting question because we're not really, we haven't gotten into the meat of the Oscar films yet that are coming out. And it is important to note, when I go and visit all the award prognostication sites right now, all the people that are listening, both in directors and actors and actresses, supporting actors, all of them are from films that have not come out yet. <laughs> but it, it's an interesting question. So if we were to ask today, who are the names that would stand out to me? I'll lead this one off. To me today, if I had to hand out an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress today, Kate Blanchett from Cinderella. I thought she owned that movie. Every And she was the great definition of a supporting actress. She elevates that movie when she's in it. I totally bought it. She brought a new twist to The Wicked Stepmother that... I don't, we haven't really seen before or considered before, yet still being incredibly devious and evil. She was awesome in that. And I think because it was like a light family fair, I think she's going to get overlooked a lot. But even when Oscar season comes, I'm going to think, I'm going to make arguments that you've got to consider Kate Blanchett from Cinderella. Um, two names that I would have up there for best actor right now. One is Johnny Depp for Black Mass. Mm -hmm. um, even people who are not completely enamored with the film. We're walking out going, wow, Johnny Depp. I mean, it's, it's, we're actually seeing him return to form, which is really great to see. The other name, Jason Mitchell, who played Easy e in Straight Outta Compton. Mm. Now, I don't think Jason's name's going to be there come Oscar time, but if we had to give out Oscars today, I honestly think two of my front runners are Johnny Depp and, and Mitchell because, you, you know, he just, he completely nailed it. Best Supporting Actor... It's, it's an easy one. It's a walkway, and this will be a name that, that's going to be there come Oscar time. Is Joel Edgerton from Black Mass. Joel Edgerton, uh, as great as Johnny Depp was, Joel Edgerton almost steals that movie, I felt, with his performance as well. So those are the names right now. So for supporting actress Kate, uh, Kate Blanchett for Cinderella. For two names I'll consider for lead actor would be Johnny Depp for Black Mass and Jason Mitchell for Straight Outta Compton. And my best supporting actor would be uh, Joel Edgerton from Black Mass. Christian, what about you? I have a few names on there. No, the only reason that this name is going to be on there is because I'm going to act like I'm in the Academy and I'm just going like this. And no, I haven't seen the movie, but Meryl Streep for Ricky and the Flash. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, and Ricky and the Flash for best for best actress. That's that's another one I totally would. You know, she's and a lot of people nominated. won't like that movie, and a lot of people don't like that movie. But even people who did not like that movie go, I mean, when you look at what she did in that film, yeah, and it's a street it, monster. She she she, she literally. Uh, it's like holy crap. She she taught herself to play guitar and yeah. sing in that movie. She'll get nom crazy. she'll get nominated for. It. But look, here's the other thing too: is that I don't and like you said in the beginning of this segment here is that we haven't seen all the movies of the people that are going to get nominated. I mean, you still have yeah, this Eddie, is so far. Eddie Redmayne hasn't so had his performance yet. We haven't seen it yet. Um, there's a lot of things like Tom Hardy. I haven't seen in Legend yet. I haven't seen all these things. So as of today, some of the ones that I would put up there as far as nominations, I'm not going to go as far as to say winners. Um, Andrew Garfield for 99 Homes. Mm. Um, even I wouldn't be surprised if Joseph Gordon-Levitt got something right now. I'd put him in the running if it was today for um for the walk the walk thank you um josh brolin actually for everest i thought josh brolin was incredible in everest i think that benicio del toro would get should get something for sicario uh helen mirren for woman in gold toby mcguire pawn sacrifice uh, alicia Vic vikander for uh um, to thank you thank you ex machina black mass johnny depp gyllenhaal for southpaw joel edgerton for the gift um, Meryl Streep for Ricky and whatever, and then uh, and then <laughs> Jason Mitchell for Recompte. Oh, and I forgot one name. I should put, put it, it. The film's not out yet, but since I've seen it, uh, Matt Damon, big surprise to me. Oh in yes, the Matt Damon, The Martian. Yes. Matt Damon, The Martian, big surprise to me. What about you, Mark? Yeah, I'd throw uh, Brolin and Blunt from Sicario in there as well. I didn't love the movie as much as some other people at this table. I liked it a lot, but those performances were magnificent. I'd also throw Don Mal Gleason and uh, Oscar Isaac from Ex Machina in there too. Jason Mitchell was a name that I was going to throw out there as well. Would that not be? I know that Easy e was was one of the driving forces of the group and in the movie it's such a triumphant of guys it really is that is. a supporting role or would that be best lead actor i think it's a situation where you had multiple people that could be considered lead actor. remember there have been films in oscar history that had three actors from the same movie all be nominated for best lead right. actor so i think i, I certainly don't think easy was a supporting actor but you can make an argument that there were two or possibly three lead performances but i would still put him in the lead and performance it's, category. and it's his story it really, it really it's, is. It's his yeah. story. More so than anybody, than yeah. either the, the other two The movie starts yeah. with him, yeah. and 
despite the fact that he dies in the movie, I mean, that's where, to me, that's where the momentum of the movie ended. Spoiler. So it, in many yeah. ways, it, it ended with him, too. So it's really but his I, I'd also say, like, I've seen maybe two and a half total minutes now of The Revenant. DiCaprio is winning the award for Best Actor. There's no <laughs> question. Right. Like, he is um, winning the statue. Unless Hardy. unless Hardy steals it from right. him for The Revenant. But, like, since those movies aren't out yet, I'm going to say lead actress Charlize Theron from Fury Road. I thought she was fantastic nice. in that movie. Nicely done. Um, and I would also say Jason Bateman for The Gift. For The Gift. I mean, that movie just blew me away. I had no, like, I was like, all right, everyone's telling me it's good. And it just, it was shockingly good. And it's, so those are my two, and I agree with everybody else. You guys already got all the rest of them. So, yeah. 